If you're looking for a place to fly to, our fly into Carbondale, presented by Southern Illinois University Aviation, is just a week away. If you're coming to Carbondale, you'll have a chance to go on an excursion to see Frasca Field in Urbana, Illinois. AOPA Live's Josh Cochran has the story about the Frasca family business and all you can see at Frasca Field. For 60 years, the Frasca family has created high-tech flight simulators to train the next generation of pilots. The company was founded by Rudy Frasca in 1958. Rudy learned to fly as a teenager, then joined the Navy where he was a flight instructor. Rudy thought there had to be a better way to train pilots and built the first simulator in his garage, starting what became Frasca International. He really believed in uh, training pilots better and more safely. And that was just his passion, and that's how this company grew to become what it is today. Rudy shared his passion for flight and simulation with his kids, who now run the company. Frasca now makes a range of simulators from this new lower-cost RTV all the way up to full motion level D sims. We provide flight simulators to a lot of the universities around the nation and around the world, military organizations, airlines, any kind of flight training organizations for helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft. Frasca assembles all of their simulators here, in-house at the factory in Urbana, Illinois. And the company is growing. Global demand for simulators is increasing with the pilot shortage, and as simulators become even better training tools. Visual technology has made VFR uh, flight training maneuvers much more realistic to, to be able to teach and learn in a simulator. So where we're at now is really seeing the simulator become your, your main training platform, and then essentially you go out and you validate that learning is taking place by flying the aircraft. But even as the company grows, Frasca is sticking to their roots as a family-owned business. Being a family-owned business, we take a lot of pride in our products and we care deeply about our customers and want them to be successful and the end product being safer pilots. And Rudy Frasca didn't just pass on the company to his kids, he also shared his love for aviation. It's a great family to be from if you like airplanes. <laughs> so <laughs> we grew up going out to the airport and and we'd get a flying lesson or go flying or something like that. So it was just it was just the way it was meant to be for us, for me anyway. And the kids got to go flying in Rudy's amazing collection of airplanes. Rudy started the collection when he bought this Wildcat. The collection grew to over 20 airplanes, including this rare P-40, all housed at Frasca Field. It actually flew in the Aleutian Islands. It's pretty much a survivor airplane. It had a couple years where they had it down and did a restoration back in the early 70s, but it's been flying ever since we got it. Visitors to Carbondale get a chance to fly into Frasca Field and see all these remarkable airplanes in the work of Frasca International. Josh Cochran, AOPA Live. You can find out more about the excursion to Frasca Field on the Fly-In website.